Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen, welcome back to Cocktails After Dark. We're going to do another cocktail out of the 1951 um, first edition of Ted Saucier's Bottoms Up. And in 1951, creeping into cocktail books, and this is the first time I'm doing this, we're going to do a blender drink. Um, there's probably a half dozen blender drinks in here, and in 1951 they start to become more and more prevalent, I guess as this machine found its way into more and more houses, uh, something that you could do at home. The recipe we're going to do today is called the Budget Blues. Um, it's by Cedric Gibbons, and he is listed as Hollywood's leading scenic designer. And as someone who spent, you know, 20 some years working in the film business, I'm very well acquainted with the Budget Blues of the art department. So, I'm going to start out with grenadine. It calls for, I'm making two cocktails, so I'm doubling everything. Calls for a dash of grenadine. This is our homemade grenadine. Uh, what is a dash? No one knows. I'm going to say it's one bar spoon. One bar spoon. Let's go with that. Next, it calls for raspberry syrup. Again, one dash. So I'm going to do one bar spoon. Interesting, interesting note about raspberry syrup. In the earliest American cocktail books that I have, um, cocktails that ask for grenadine, it just lists grenadine. But when you go to the glossary at the end of the cocktail book, and it tells you what grenadine is, um, the earliest American cocktail books say that it's a raspberry syrup. And I find this very interesting because it's probably just a miscommunication. They knew that it was red. They knew that it was sweet. They didn't know what grenadine was or what it meant, that it, that it actually meant pomegranate. Um, so obviously, red, sweet, it's got to be raspberries. Next, it calls for a juice of half a lemon. I'm going to say half a lemon is one ounce. So, making two cocktails, two ounces of lemon juice. Next, it calls for a jigger of white rum. And I'm going to use this. I've never used this on set before, the El Dorado. And at the beginning of this cocktail book, he says that a jigger is one and a quarter ounces. So, two jiggers of white rum. And then half a jigger of curacao. And since I'm doubling it, one jigger of curacao. So the next ingredient is just listed as shaved ice, and I'm supposed to blend it in an electric mixer. And how much shaved ice uh, is a complete guess. I'm going to say three scoops. Let's, let's try three scoops and see what happens. Blendtec once asked, will it blend? And the answer to that is yes, it will blend. Now the thing is, they asked for shaved ice, and I have to believe that in 1951, probably um, they were asking for shaved ice because the home blenders weren't as powerful as you know what I have here today, which is an industrial blender essentially. So it's pretty soupy. I think I've got the right mix of ice, maybe? Get it in and we'll give it a taste. And into the second one. Let's see. Hey, hey Glenn. Hey, friends. Oh, blender drinks. Are we on vacation? <laughs> blender drinks. So have we ever done a blender drink? This is the first one. First, oh, there you go. First time to do a blender drink. Um, served in a champagne glass. 1951 champagne would have more than likely been served in a coupe rather than a flute. Yes. That was probably the 60s or 70s is when that transition happened. So, Looks a bit like a slushy. It's starting to drain out is, of the ice. Yes. <laughs> um, and I'm supposed to put a small sprig of fresh mint. Um, small sprig, obviously, because Cedric didn't have enough budget for a big sprig. <laughs> set. <laughs> okay, if you don't know anything about set, de set decorators, that joke probably doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Let's give it a go. That was Total. the most dead sounding toast I've ever done. Totally dead. You cannot toast with a blender drink. No, not but at all. But I'm willing to, uh, you know, woohoo! I'm totally going to get this on my nose. Huh. <clears throat> okay, so what's deceiving is that when I think of blender drinks, I think high fruit, high sugar, high all of that. And of course, this is not no. that. This truly is just a drink. Yeah. In ice, this, this it's just it's just blended yeah. ice. 
It has all yep. the, you know, clearly these flavors are all there. But it has the tartness of a cocktail from this time period. Mm -hmm. Like it, this could have just been, you could have just <laughs> shaken this, put it in a Nick and Nora, double strained it and take the ice out. The flavor is exactly it easier the same. to drink. I wouldn't be getting yes. it on my nose. <clears throat> um, so it is very much of the time and not a blender drink of today. But what's interesting though is that with the shape, with the the having blended the ice, it's now super cool. Yeah. And I can imagine on a hot day, yeah. this would be absolutely lovely. I kind of like that. Um, Although it might melt really quickly and be totally watered down quickly. Yeah. But yeah, that's you know. Serve it with a spoon, maybe. Yeah. Um, Drink it. The amount of ice, I mean, I, I might have put in a little bit too much ice. So I used two scoops of our scoop, which is meaningless. Yep. Totally meaningless. Um, but I think that worked out pretty well. It's a bit like a slushy. Yeah. Thank you, Cedric.